Yo, what's up? Hello. <laughs> Don't be shy, all is good. <laughs> Busier than last time. Actually, already pretty big crowd. Ozzy, Ozzy, Ozzy! Ozzy, Ozzy. I'm back to Bali as usual, actually. Whenever I am travel, I'm coming back to Bali since. Bali is my first home, actually, since past few years. Actually, I didn't been in my home home country in Poland since like six years nearly so Bali definitely is my first home right now I hope so you enjoyed my uh, our short trip to Vietnam we got seven days holiday so we couldn't stay longer and visit more I hope so you understand that also the new format of the very long videos like a 30 minutes long half hour one I hope so you enjoyed let me know in the comment section if you like videos longer like this one especially when we are travel or you prefer me to stick to the 10 minutes long videos I can do both for formats actually is not the problem for me uh, I wanted to try something new anyway since I back to Bali when he's working I gonna continue my daily videos from Bali regular stuff you know now I'm in Padma at the front of Bali Mandira hotel as you probably realize already gonna have our my regular stroll around Padma today at the front is Azul Beach Club so many motorbikes park actually and the construction of promenade already moved here to the Padma Beach in Legian uh, they have a new stars and of course the new promenade like this one. I think you can walk already pretty far. Uh, this the stars gonna be new one. I don't know how actually they're gonna work out, but a new promenade is here. And the beach bars, beach boys, I already all the time left here. Nothing really actually has changed. Also the surface. Thank you, thank you, brother. Uh, but the construction is here. And that's the also situation in Bali Mandira Hotel. Seems actually pretty busy to me today quite many guests staying inside enjoying their time and they're gonna have even some buffet buffet dinner somewhere here also and check this out people walking here enjoying this is the corn lady here selling the corn hello and there is the hello 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 <laughs> parking you guy as always thank you Tamu Tamu thank you you for the valley Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Uh, <laughs> and I'm just at the front of Padma Hotel. Seems busier to me today. Definitely, like, seems like many taxi drivers and everybody here uh, seems busier than it was last time. It's middle of November 2020. Uh, even the taxi drivers driving on the footpath. I'm gonna stroll a little bit today around Padma Street. This is the massive situation the new ice cream shop actually it looks pretty fancy nice and this is the corner of the poser pub uh, as you can see so many tourists walking around actually today i think more than last time when i was strolling around i'm gonna hit now into the direction of padma utara which is north padma a little bit next to the poser pub and there's an overview uh, sports bars everywhere around uh, motorbikes also more the last time and the taxi and this is like an over massa shop and the shops where you can buy yo what's up brother how you doing and well touch your options everything is open again seems like even the small barrels here as you can see happy groups of the happy tourists already are back in padma north padma in legion so seems like there are more improvements uh, to compare to the previous month uh, which is actually happy days right yeah what's up and well are yeah, the, the the people who are gonna offer you motorbike taxi here and well this is at the front we are heading to y bar y bar also seems definitely busier than last time actually already pretty big crowd Aussie, Aussie, Aussie! Aussie, Aussie. See, Australians people are back and the boxing is back also currently four times a week this is similar stuff to the uh, Phuket one right actually as you can see quite busy right now in the in the in the in the in the Y bar so happy to see that actually right happy days hello how are you today busier already yeah Hi. that's good take care yeah take care as you can see busier and everybody seems very happy uh, this is also the garden resort view hotel seems open and y bar is definitely busier that's without any dabs 
and now I'm going to show you a little bit around the Padma, North Padma Street. Um, most of the warongs, most of the shops, most of the businesses here are kind of open. Some people walking on the street, which is good, uh, good surprise for me because last time wasn't that that that, that, that you know that busy. I mean, yo, what's up? Hello. <laughs> Don't be shy. All is good. <laughs> okay. Uh, <laughs> silver shop here and the box shop here and the seller selling everything hello yeah you can buy the head all is cool um yeah and now you can people park here that means that's a good sign because last time was totally empty here and even the three brothers in is open and this guy trying to sell you something but he didn't offer me anything so that means it's something what is not suitable for the video, I guess. Nice cafe here. At the front of me is the EB Styles Hotel. It's open actually, always was open. Uh, I would like to notice, as you can see, there's very, a lot of Australian people here in North Padma Street. You can hear the vibe of Aussie, like this guy, Aussie, 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 Aussie. So this is like a North Padma, it's like a little Australia, if I can call it like this. I think I already mentioned once about this one. Uh, but definitely everybody will call you mate here and you can find so many Australian people here. This is a very popular spot for the Aussie people and seems like more Aussie people coming to Bali currently. Which is, I think, a good vibe because Bali, uh, the, the, the biggest uh, you know, amount of tourists, international tourists who are coming to Bali, they are coming from uh, actually Australia. It was one million before uh, pandemic times. Uh, one million from six million international visitors. And actually Bali had only about six, seven million uh, international visitors uh, in 2019, uh, which is actually not that really actually a lot if you are comparing to different uh, destinations around the world. Um, well, but that's how it is. But because Bali is so small island and when it was very busy in 2019, it feels like it's overcrowded on every single corner where you go. Actually, if you're gonna go to Changu, it's still overcrowded because it's small and you know like seven million of tourists in one year so let's say you have a five hundred thousand tourists in the same time it was at least last time it's feelings like it's already five million at the same time that's because of small roads and all of the you know small place everybody accumulate actually in the few cities on the south valley anyways let's focus today on the north padma street uh, most of the places are open again hello massage thank you and all the shops here and everything. It was all closed actually not so long ago. Maybe you remember I used to film here during the pandemic quite often and I make a one or two videos here uh, with the title as Bali Gone Forever. It's got like, uh, you know, six figure number of views in uh, YouTube on my channel. Actually my best performing videos actually coming from the street for some reason. And well, uh, it's memory because actually it's coming back. More and more people, yo, what's up, how are you doing? And you can buy also very fancy helmet here in case if you're interested of stuff like this one. And well, this is the corner where so many hotels like Amaris, uh, Swiss Bell and some others. And everything seems more optimistic and more happy. Hello. Hello. You know, ladies waiting. Yo, what's up? Yeah. Yeah. He wants 10,000 for filming his shop, so I'm not gonna film his shop. Actually, you know, I'm not gonna comment too much. Anyway, corner bar and restaurant over here, and the Swiss Bell Hotel is here. Swiss Bell is open, and corner bar seems more happy. As you can see, some people, yo, uh, everybody else seems happy, and definitely, area here is more alive than it was last night. Look at this guy, <laughs> uh, living from the hotel. I'm gonna show you the corner. I, I, I hope so. You still remember my videos when I was here during the pandemic, right? 2020, 2021 year. Uh, I used to park my car somewhere here on the corner and it was like totally empty. But now, yeah, already some people come back. These people in the bar, even waving, happy to be on the camera. Everybody seems happy and more and more business is coming back to normal. However, it's definitely not as busy as it used to be before uh, pandemic times. Because before pandemic times, there was actually a really busy. Yeah, which studio? This one, amazing, amazing in 
Okay, that's the best tattoo in Bali. This guy saying as this is the best tattoo in Bali, all right? Everybody want to get the tattoo? Come to amazing, eh? Thank you. Take care. Good luck, my friend. Take care. So, and this is also the coffee shop and massage and Circle K. And this guy actually didn't want me to pay for his promoting his shop. So he got little promotion. Some people are sometimes weird. Anyways, Romeo's is open here. Here we go. Check this out. And there's another massage. Vlog, eh? See people asking if I'm making vlog. What I'm looking, I'm doing. Yo, what's up? Yo, how you doing? Hello, how are you? How are you? The tour. Uh, I think Bali has so many okay, other yes, YouTubers. Welcome to Bali. Welcome to Bali. Bali and don't Bali. forget, come to Bali Ozi. Oh, Bali If you want Ozi to rent a bike, come to Agus Bali Lenta. Yes. Agus Motorbike. This is, is Johnny. Johnny, From next Bali. to Bali Ozi. Yes. Okay. Okay, thank you very Take much. Take care. Good luck yes. with your film. Yes, yo, what's up? <laughs> you know, happy. Happy life in Bali, beach, Manasti apartments, Baxo and Bali, Bondi. Actually, so many new bars here, restaurants. And some tourists, of course, are here enjoying, enjoying the time. Well, I'm gonna continue my stroll. This is already away by Chamakila here. It was the Chamakila before, but it's now away by Bali again by Chamakila. And you can find so many like a small shops where you can buy some goodies here, of course, and tattoos and and some bars, but more especially tattoos here, tattoos and bars and small cafes, but most likely they are sports bars here. Uh, this is like a small one way road alley in Legia, North Padma. You can go to double six Seminyak here, actually, if you're going to follow the streets through all the time. This is Bali Buddha. Bali Buddha, Fat Buddha Legion, also not so bad, more busier. Some people enjoying their drinks and burgers. This is the corner of the Zest Hotel and seems pretty busy to me. Uh, people looking for some souvenirs from the small shops. It's actually pretty hard to pass by even. I'm trying to don't get crashed into somebody or somebody into me. You can buy so many fake uh, items here. Uh, also, this hotel, the Zest, costs you 350,000 per night, which is like 20, 22, 23 US dollars, something like that. Not so bad. It was cheaper actually because it was like 150 or 200,000 during the pandemic times. It was open, and this is the corner. Uh, if you're gonna go straight, you're gonna go to the double uh, six beach actually. And if you're gonna go into that direction, there is a small street leading to Legion Street, actually full of the Aussie bars everywhere around. I'm gonna have a look a little bit, show you 360 here in the hotel. Uh, so many tourists actually here. Mostly I reckon they are from Australia, I believe, I guess. Uh, well, that's how this looks like today here in Legion. Check this out, 360 degree. And taxi drivers are happy and the tourists are happy, and the local sellers are happy. Seems everybody actually are happy. I believe, I believe, strongly believe. I'm back to Bali, and Bali seems back, at least a little bit more than it was before. You can expect more videos in upcoming days like this one from Bali. Let me know in the comment section which street, which part of Bali would you like me to cover next. Maybe I can make it if it's affordable for me, and I can do it in general. Uh, meanwhile, thank you so much for watching. I will see you tomorrow or next. See ya, take care.